Hey, this is the American Contractor. Today's uh, 31 May 2014. Just wrote an uh, article about the Iraqi dinar exchange rate. Why it is not the best for Iraq to have two different Iraqi dinar exchange rates. Did you know that the Central Bank of Iraq, CBI, has been operating with two Iraqi dinar exchange rates? The first one is the Iraqi dinar exchange rate, also known as the fixed commercial exchange rate. This is the rate that the Iraqi private banks are offered daily from the CBI. The commercial exchange rate is a fixed rate at 1166. This can be verified by going to the going to the uh, CBI website. The other exchange rate for everyone else is called the floating exchange rate. This Iraqi dinar exchange rate can be anywhere from 1178 to 1220. Unfortunately, the Iraqi people do not get the benefit or offering of the CBI discounted Iraqi dinar exchange rate. Dual Iraqi dinar exchange rates misguided by the central bank. Operating with two exchange rates is called dual and multiple exchange rates, the DMER. And only a, only a handful of countries use this system. Dual exchange rates are associated with currency exchange controls and lead to creating black markets for foreign exchange. During his time serving as CBI governor, Dr. Sinan al-Shabibi imposed daily limits with a 5K limit on individuals. At the time, the dinar exchange rate had a cap at 1,189 Iraqi dinar, IQD, for cash transactions and wire transfers. Private banks had a daily limit of $8 million to $15 million per day, depending on which group you were in. Uh, foreign banks' branches had a daily limit of $5 million. Dr. Shabibi continued this monetary policy for three months, and the Iraqi dinar gained in value against the U.S. dollar. One would think that Dr. Shabibi would have kept up with this monetary policy since the Iraqi dinar had finally gained in value against the dollar. Dr. Shabibi then changed the monetary policy again and removed all daily limits and removed the daily price cap of 1189 IQD. Iraq government removed CBI governor over the Iraqi dinar exchange rate. After removing the limits, there, were, there was a rapid increase in the use of dollars in the markets and the capital flight of dollars out of the country for non-commercial purposes. In October 2012, Dr. Shabibi was removed from the position of CBI governor and the chairman of the Board of Supreme Audit, Dr. Abdul Basit al Turki, was named the new CBI governor. When Dr. Turki reviewed the CBI operations, he quickly made decisions to get the CBI back on track. Dr. Turki, Turki restricted in the supply of dollars and began investigations of several banks and currency exchange companies. Dr. Turkey also demanded more reviews and audits of documents when banks performed the daily currency auction. This included all private banks, state banks, and currency exchange companies. When the capital flight decreased, the Iraqi dinar increased in value. Dr. Turkey and the CBI were able to show progress in the capital flight of dollars out of the country. The dollars sold at the daily auctions declined for the banking industry from about $268 million per day to approximately $190 million per day. The Iraqi dinar exchange rate stood at about 1270. That was in April of 2013. The CBI issued new regulations on setting the limit at 500 k a day of a currency per customer when purchasing dollars for wire transfers. The banks must sell the currency to bank customers who are verified to be importing goods to Iraq. The bank's selling price should be 10 Iraqi dinars above the CBI selling price to the banks. This would limit the amount of dollars for wire transfers and moving to using letters of credit, LCs. This would also make it more difficult to smuggle currency out of the country. In 2011, private banks' letters of credit accounted for 6.9 trillion Iraqi dinars. The CBI has advised the banking industry to have their capital paid up to $500 billion by 2015. There are five Iraqi banks that will have the required paid-up capital. They are Kurdistan International, Mansour Bank, United Bank, North Bank, and Mosul Bank. The banks need the additional capitalization Iraqi dinar to support the fast-growing economy. The central bank needs to stop using the dual currency for their Iraqi dinar exchange rates. Now, this is the American Contractor at AmericanContractor.com. If you like what you're hearing, I appreciate you joining the mailing list. You just go to the website, AmericanContractor.com. Just go ahead and put your name and email address. Be sure and check your email because a confirmation email 
will be sent to your email address and just go ahead and click on that link and you'll be ensured to uh, get on the list. For next time, thank you. This is the American Contractor. Until next time.